in the national weather. Heavy precipitation for Pacific Northwest, heavy snow diminishing across New England. Rounds of moisture will continue to bring periods of heavy rain, mountain snow, and high wind through this week across the northwest U.S. into the central and northern Rockies. Urban small stream and moderate to isolated major river flooding impacts are expected between Puget Sound and the Cascades through midweek. In top news, Yale psychology professor Lori Santos, known for her popular course on the science of happiness, shares insights on happiness myths. Contrary to intuition, circumstantial changes like wealth or relationships may not significantly impact happiness, especially after a middle-class income. Evidence-based, practices like social connection and gratitude journaling are universal for happiness. America's low ranking on the World Happiness Report may be linked to wealth inequality and cultural priorities that don't align with evidence-based practices. Emphasizing consumerism over factors proven to enhance well-being. Santos encourages experimentation to discover personally effective happiness strategies. You can check out Santos in her podcast, The Happiness Lab, and also a plethora of free content on YouTube. Now let's talk science. Did you know that the Grand Canyon was partially shaped by volcanic eruptions? Today, you can still see where lava gushed down the canyon and likely blocked the Colorado River for a significant period of time. And have you ever wondered why there are so many seemingly perfect flat spots along the canyon? Did you know the limestone there was formed millions of years ago from the shells of sea life? You may know that the canyon was shaped by the Colorado River but you may not know that the origins of the canyon stem from a massive upward movement of earth, pushing the ground almost perfectly straight up a mile high. And during this time, there were at least seven different cycles of ocean-like bodies of water, consuming and then receding from the area. The Grand Canyon's geological history on the Colorado Plateau reveals a captivating story of erosion, tectonic uplift, and ancient landscapes. The debate over its age ranges from five to six million years to potentially 70 million years. But to put that in perspective, the canyon was formed millions of years before the dinosaurs arrived. And ancient marine animal fossils, dating back to over one billion years, are still being discovered there today. My mind is blown. And in the stock market, Today, we talk about crypto. Cryptocurrency executives anticipate a new bull run, projecting Bitcoin to surpass $100,000 in 2024. Positive sentiments surround the potential approval of a Bitcoin ETF in the U.S. and the upcoming Bitcoin halving in May 2024. Resolutions of legal issues involving FTX and Binance are seen as positive developments marking the end of a speculative phase. Executives highlight the growing mainstream acceptance of Bitcoin with expectations that institutional investors will enter the market. El Salvador's president, Nayib Bukal, revealed that the country's Bitcoin investments have been profitable, with a current valuation of $131 million. As Bitcoin's price surged past $42,000 this week, Bukel stated that selling the country's Bitcoin holdings would not only recover the initial investment, but also yield a profit of $3.6 million. Despite facing criticism for integrating Bitcoin as legal tender and making state-financed Bitcoin investments, Bukel remains a staunch advocate for the cryptocurrency. El Salvador's commitment to holding Bitcoin aligns with its long-term strategy, and Bukel emphasized that short-term price fluctuations won't impact the country's approach. Bitcoin is up 60% over the last six months to $41,800. Ethereum is up 40% to $2,225 over the same time period. Coinbase, the popular crypto exchange 
and pretty much the only exchange not to be mired by fraud, is up 140% to $142 per share.